Welcome back to the reality, guys. I'm your host, Billy Blinks, joined as always by my co-host, Brian. Hi, everybody. And Waleed. What's up, boys? We are here to talk Truth or Dare, the episode 10 season one finale of our favorite show this summer, Claim the Fame. What a awesome, I've said it, but if this is your first time watching us, I want to make sure I say it again. What an awesome surprise this was with the summer. If you are a big reality fan and even an ABC Monday and Tuesday night reality fan, you know, the Bachelorette has been really a tough watch this season and having claimed the fame attached after it on Monday nights has been a real pleasure for us as a channel and as viewers. Uh, just so bravo to the first season, the production, the hosts, everybody. Great premise. I love seeing that there's casting notes for a season two. Definitely think this is a show that could be cyclical, um, but uh, before we get in talking about the winner, I just want to say I thought this finale overall was awesome. I love the challenges. I love the old contestants coming back, uh, but we do need to lead with LC, our champion, our claim to fame, Kiki Palmer's older sister. Uh, Bri, I'll start with you. Just your reactions overall on the finale and the winner, and then I'll hear from you, Waleed. Uh, well deserved. Uh, I was a little worried, though, that she wasn't gonna get this right but uh i'm a little also surprised why didn't she just do the test with pepper because she knew dean martin you know what i mean that was my only like i was worried if she didn't get it right i'd be like this you're an idiot i think it's basically like throw him out there justin somehow you guys are wrong then whatever because i don't know, yeah, I don't I, know. I, I, she was I don't pretty know. solid i would it's because who what's her face said luke bryan you throw that test out there. If she's right, then you are you know Dean Martin. Like it's a layup. So I, yeah. that's just my opinion. She she won, so it doesn't matter. But if she didn't win, I would be killing her right now. Absolutely killing her. Well, Waleed, you were a big LC fan all season. How do you feel? Yeah, no, I was definitely a fan of how she played the game. You know, she was never like dirty, like a dirty player throughout the whole thing. She was like never like a huge backstabber either. She was just using her brains more than anything mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, getting through it. Basically, when we got down to like final seven, the final six contestants, I had a feeling I, she was the one that I predicted to win. Like at the midpoint of the season, I was like, she seems to be the smartest player, in my opinion. So, yeah, it was well earned, well deserved. You know, she's just. Even at the end, she's just winning these challenges left and right, too. So, I mean, she had the power for most of the end when it mattered most. So I, I kind of knew it. I was like, she's going to win. I mean, you know, right, right after Pepper got out, you know, and then right away, I had a feeling that she was going to take the guess into her own hands for Logan at the end, too. I was like, don't don't make him the guesser. Don't don't risk it. And at this at this point, when you're at the, when you're at the final, I'd, I'd be a big fan of just guessing myself. And leaving it in my own hands, like, hey, if I'm wrong, I can't be mad at anyone but myself. I think that's fair. I yeah. think very fair. You've gotten that yeah. far. Yeah, yeah, seriously. So I was happy when she said, "I'm just gonna." Unless you have no idea, unless you truly have no idea, and then you at least yeah. have. That's kind of cool. I think what was cool about her this episode, which is that the entire season was misdirection, yeah. and she, the final challenge was if you told the truth about your person mm -hmm. and answered the questions, you got more points. And she just said, "Screw it, let's go for it," and she just answered the truth on every single question. I loved it. I mean, everyone knew who she was besides Logan. Apparently he didn't even, well, I was with the kicker. She was golden. She didn't know that, but she was golden. Like regardless, like she, he didn't know she was unless yeah. Brittany had told him secretly and we didn't get to see that on camera, but yeah. Like what did Michael say to him? I remember they like very talked, weird combo and then they just like no sound. Uh -huh. Another thing, Bill, no max. Max was not there. The masturbator. Dude, he definitely was jerking off. <laughs> 100 like why is he not here uh brian we got to get max on I, I actually unfollowed him on the team page because his poster is so weird i was like i'm, I'm done with this dude get back in because never him again never, and then we we're were, gonna follow him after never we, we were so in on him in the beginning and then as the show progressed like we we didn't think the show was gonna be something and then like he's like a total afterthought i felt like he was like five seasons the ago. show just took <laughs> off it, it's like it cocooned it out yeah it was great yeah. um I loved that. I mean, big underscore of this episode too. like Pepper won the game for LC. She gave the yeah. identity out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jason Aldean, oh, she man, did yeah. not have anybody worst, at that point. Yeah, the worst guesser all season was the one who finally got it right in the end for LC and, and her. didn't help herself. <laughs> Basically. Right. That's Crazy, why I kind of right? thought she would like throw her a bone just to get the second. But that's just me. I don't know. No, I mean, 
I, I'm surprised, too, because, I mean, again, there was no second place money. So it wasn't like, hey, I get Logan in the second or me and him, no matter what, we both get money. There was only the one way uh, Logan was a little more boring. Than I thought he was chasing all Dean's cousin. Yeah. That was a little bit of a stretch. Yeah, I know. I didn't like that one. I'm hoping next it. season it's more bloodline. Like we get some bloodline. deeper the bloodline. I, wouldn't it be also be cool if next season? Like it's like hard to get, like people to give away what they are. So like I don't yeah. know. Like just kind of like yeah. keeping us suspenseful yeah. through the entire yeah. time. Like no curious. professionals yeah. giving away who anybody is. Just I like, don't need to know. Yeah. Yeah. Just I like yeah, I, like, I like that. it that so, like not that way. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully they make some tweaks just to make it that much better next season. That's what the I'm thing we have to be lo- more worried about next season, Bri, is like the groups we're in. You know what I mean? Though, because people research this shit. Out yeah, of I don't like it. Yeah, and I'm, like you know, that. we're gonna have to get back to like our, and we this love everyone's group. comments and stuff. But like, we have a feeling that we're gonna have to be a little bit more like not read the comments as much next season because I feel like people are gonna try to yeah. now come in and dive in. Also, yeah. interestingly enough, I hope, and I, I, I hope they, they, I mean, again, they had great challenges, great th- concept, but. We are historians of reality television, fellas, and we have seen some awesome season ones, i.e. Uh, the circle, that then yeah, after you've does. seen the game played once, it's kind of figured out and you know what you're doing. So I'm hoping that I think that comes down to casting. You got to cast people who are like very like not super in touch with pop culture. Like, you know, LC knew everybody and everything after like one or two clues, except for Jason Aldean, which was you know, that tough yeah. one for someone who's not in the country. I probably still wouldn't have gotten those clues until today with the first name, Jason. I'm like, well, it's got to be Jason Aldean's the yeah. only Jason I know, too. It's like I would have done the pepper. Yeah, 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 yeah I know. <laughs> I was going to say before, like, miss me with any spoilers. Like, don't even come my way with that. Uh, but can you imagine if they had like 10 Logans on where it's like they don't really know anything? <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, I mean, it's good, though. I mean, I like the challenges throughout the season. And also, credit to uh, – I think the Jonas Brothers are pretty good as hosts as well. I think they were they – were Yeah, I agree. They had some pretty good sense of humor. There was a sick <laughs> burn. Did you hear the Jonas sick burn in the early oh, in the episode? Was it? When the – who's the – is Frankie the one who's not in it? Who's yeah. the one who's – yeah, that's so, Frankie, he, right? The guy who's the weird, the weird outfit. Yeah, so Frankie said early in the episode, he's like, I can't handle all this pressure. And then he was like, the other one was like, that's why you're not in the band. <laughs> <laughs> so it's funny. It's funny it's stuff. Like sick burn. They had the strangest outfits this entire season. The I don't know if do. That's what they yeah. always do. They yeah. dress like like loungewear from like 1968. Yeah, they look like they should be on like that 70s show. Yeah. They do. They look like they're in the basement. Like rugs, like rugs for shirts. Um. Another thing that was really funny in this episode, two things, and this is kind of my closing, kind of my miscellaneous uh, X hated pepper. That was really funny. He was like, oh, the dumb one, basically. <laughs> I said like multiple times in the episode. Like, yeah. I was like, OK, he called like a cockroach or something. I was like, Jesus Christ, dude, only you would hate X. And I mean, hate uh, pepper. And then we did get a gang gang. Yeah, yeah. Catch me. Oh, yeah. yeah, I like that. Yo, uh, X is outside. Uh, X's laugh is like a rich, like rich villain's laugh. It's like, (laughs) it's like an act. Yeah. It's like (laughs) Dracula's laugh. Pretty much. Oh man. I love this season. I did. I'm going to miss it. Like I said, I I, I hate when shows we like, we've had a lot about the last three, four weeks. We've had uh, the, uh, the, the rehearsal love Island and this now's ending somehow bachelor's still on. And uh, then we get to hopefully then we get PC survivor. will be back and we'll see, but Dude, we get amazing race. I, I'm, I'm going to be so mad going to bed angry every Monday now because <laughs> we don't have this. <laughs> the next. Yeah. The ah, next, uh, the next couple next of Mondays weeks. are going to be tough for us. Yeah. It was two more weeks of that dumb show. I think it's ne- the next two Tuesdays because of Monday night. I don't even, I think Monday night football or what, whatever. I, I, they could put it's it on a four in the morning. Like, whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah, again, we really appreciate everyone who watched our coverage of Claim the Fame. This is your first time watching. You can go back and check out our other reviews or check out all of our other playlists of all the other reality shows that we cover. We got over 200 episodes right now on the channel from anything from Survivor, Amazing Race, any of the Netflix reality TV shows, The Rehearsal, Love Island, Big Brother. Like I said, any of the Bachelor franchise stuff, Claim the Fame. And we also have interviews with different cast members from different reality TV shows and even a few hosts, including Mark Wahlberg. So make sure that you're hitting that like notification bell it really helps us out. And uh, we're pushing up to that thousand number, which is really cool. But um, for myself, Brian, Waleed, thank you. Peace. <laughs>